Hey guys, welcome back to Ranger Survival and Fieldcraft. I'm Andrew, and what I have for you today is a very down and dirty video on six ways to start a survival fire using your military flashlight. Stand by. Now, if you'll remember in a previous demonstration, we looked at taking a simple plastic camp steak, using the back of our knife, making shavings with that steak, and then using the steak and those shavings and our lighter lighting the plastic on fire to create a long-lasting tinder source for fire. We can do the same thing with our military flashlight that we did with that camp steak. We can take our knife because it has a 90 degree edge on the back and begin making shavings off the body of our military flashlight. We're going to create a small pile of plastic shavings that we can then collect and use in conjunction with materials from the area, marginal materials in this case, because this is a great method to use when tinder sources and maybe fire kindling and fuel materials are damp or marginal because of inclement weather in the area. But we can create a small pile of plastic shavings from our L-shaped flashlight and then using a stronger fire starting device like a lighter, extend the flame of that lighter using the plastic and then add our tinder and our kindling material to get a survival fire going quickly. For our second method of starting a survival fire using our military flashlight, we're going to harness the sun's rays. We can take that small parabolic lens from within the flashlight itself, polish it up, and then using fine tinder like char material, we can focus the sun's rays inside that parabolic lens igniting that charred material. Once we have that charred material ignited, we can take that material, place it into our tinder bundle. We should have more char cloth inside of our tinder bundle from the last time we made fire. We have char cloth already made for fire starting. We add our burning piece of char to our tinder bundle with ready-made char inside and simply blow it into flame to get a survival fire going. Too easy. For a third method, using our military flashlight to get a fire going in a survival situation, we can use that parabolic lens inside the flashlight, yet again, as a bearing block for a primitive bow drill fire set. Simply using our survival knife, we can carve a bow drill set from the materials available, soft woods, and then take that parabolic lens out of our flashlight and use it as a bearing block. We're going to want to use a cloth or a glove on top of the parabolic lens as we spin into the hearth board because there's going to be a lot of heat produced and it will melt plastic. But once we're ready to go, we apply downward pressure and continue to spin business as usual to produce an ember in our hearth board. Once we have that ember produced and it's smoking by itself, we remove our kit and then apply that ember to our tinder bundle, blow it into flame, and we have a survival fire ready to go. Too easy. For our fourth method in starting a survival fire using our military flashlight, this is the most traditional method or the one that you're going to see most often, and that is concealing lead wires and alligator clips and fine steel wool in the lens compartment of the flashlight itself. Reason being is that we can remove those items, remove the light housing from the flashlight itself, and simply attach our lead wires to the negative and positive terminals within the actual flashlight. Simply turn on the flashlight, touch the wires to our steel wool, and it'll ignite steel wool. We can place it in a tinder bundle and blow it into flame. This method is good when we have tinder sources or we need to apply that steel wool to a tinder source and need to add reach and length to our fire lighting device from the flashlight to reach inside our tinder bundle and get that fire going. Too easy. Of course, if we don't need the added reach of our lead wires, we can simply take the steel wool out of the lens compartment, form it into a U, remove the light housing component from our flashlight, attach the U to positive negative terminal, flip the switch, and our steel wool is lit. 
Our fifth method for starting a survival fire using our military flashlight is going to be the prison match method. And for this demonstration, we're going to use steel wool yet again. We can simply take the batteries out of our flashlight. We would do this in the event that our flashlight or the light housing compartment is damaged beyond repair and we need to get a survival fire going. But we can take that steel wool again from the lens compartment where we have it concealed, roll it out into a long cigar shape or thin shape, and then stack our batteries one on top of the other in a line on the ground and then attach our steel wool starting at the positive end to the negative end. The negative end is where the electricity from the batteries is going to pass through, complete the circuit, and ignite the steel wool. We then take that steel wool, apply it to our tinder bundle, and then blow it into flame and apply it to our fire lay, and we have our survival fire ready to go. For our sixth and final method of getting a survival fire going using our military flashlight, we're going to use the incandescent filament from within the bulb itself to transfer that heat to tinder source and get our survival fire going. We're going to need a rock, a cloth to act as cushion over the rock, the bulb, and then our survival knife to crack the bulb. Once the bulb is broken and the filament is in one piece, reassemble the flashlight. We take fine tinder material like char, Place it in the parabolic lens, assemble the flashlight, press down on the parabolic lens in the char, making sure it's touching the filament, turn the flashlight on, and that heat will transfer to our char material. Once it's lit, we apply it to a tinder bundle, and we blow it into flame, put it in our fire lay, and we have our survival fire lit. These military flashlights come with two bulbs, one spare bulb in the battery housing compartment in the flashlight. We simply disassemble the battery housing compartment, remove the spring, there's our spare bulb ready to go, and we can reassemble our flashlight to make sure it works so we can see in the dark and use our flashlight. Too easy. Alright guys, this is a very down and dirty video today. Six different ways to start fire using our military flashlight. I hope you like this video. If you did like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment in the comment section. I always appreciate your feedback. I want to thank you guys for everything you do for me, for this channel, for your likes, your views, your subscriptions, your comments, your feedback, and your shares. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks.